where to begin this is going to be an old world compilation and that will begin at the end of the video but first i want to dive into something that is blowing my mind a little bit lately especially with the type of research and growth of this channel and i'm going to talk about some things that people might consider to be superstitious or downright dumb so if you're someone who doesn't like to talk about the supernatural you need not watch this intro part however this is going to be a dive into my psyche a little bit now my name is jared but it's not spelled like the traditional hebrew biblical version of the name my name jared is spelled j-a-r-i-d and i note this because all throughout my childhood i was ostracized or made fun of because of the way my name was spelled basically you know how kids are they can be very cruel and for this reason i was kind of always questioning why my name was spelled this way i would always look for in books or once I got online, look for different people and friends, try to meet others that might have the same name spelled the same way, but I never met or found another person with the name spelled J-A-R-I-D. And for this reason, it was kind of a pin in my side it was something that i always wanted to find out more about so as the internet grew you know i'm a kid it's the early 2000s things are growing rapidly and i would say maybe once every couple months i would try and look up the name jared j-a-r-i-d and i would find nothing and i'm telling you from my heart right hand to god i would find nothing yet now in 2021 after a quarter of a lifetime of basically thinking that i had a misspelled name and being told that if i want to know about my name i need to just take the biblical version with an e and take the definitions for that now in 2021 suddenly when i looked up the origin of my name i was met with a vast accord of information and oddly somehow all of this information seems to pertain to the type of old world and esoteric research that we've been doing let's start with jared in tunisia this is an area that was part of the barbary states and the barbary states basically being where the moorish people came from so you know how much i love talking about the old moorish architecture now this land of jared in tunisia contains the largest salt lake on the entire sahara desert and this is really unique not only for its features but also for the fact that in years and years of trying to find origin and research about the name j-a-r-i-d you're telling me that not once was i met with information about this land called jared and another thing in hebrew and in the bible jared means to descend but in old arabic jared means date or palm as in a palm tree so that's something else that was really interesting to me. We see palm trees depicted on many old world flags and the such. Now, another interesting fact is Jared is where the original Star Wars movie was filmed. And me being a diehard, true Star Wars fan who's looked up filming locations and has Star Wars memorabilia literally next to me right now, I somehow... In all of my research, never heard that Star Wars was filmed in Jared. So, just another aspect of this area that was really mind-blowing to me. Now, 
Jared has pink water from the salts that sit on the floor of the lake. The lake doesn't always have water, but when it does, it flows bright pink. So just another reason that I would think I would have heard about Jared before, especially being someone named Jared who looks for information about the origin of Jared. Yet, no. So, diving into it even further, apparently there was an entire weapon system of the ancient Arabic cultures that was called a Jared. And a Jared basically predates the modern day javelin. And if you look at some of these older photographs of this weapon called a Jared, which also in ancient Arabic was spelled J-A-R-I-D, but they changed the spelling again. This weapon appears to have many similarities, at least in design and in photographs, to the fascist weapon of the ancient Romans. So that's another aspect that I just wanted to point out that seems to tie together this J-A-R-I-D name with a bunch of old world different aspects. Now the final thing that I wanted to discuss about this name, which just so happens to be mine, is the fact, and this is probably the most mind-blowing one of them all, is that your DNA, your chromosomes, uh, the proteins that make up who you are, who I am, anybody watching this video, what makes you, you? Uh, there's about a handful, mm, two handfuls, over 10 different proteins of your DNA. And you know there's not that many different DNA strands in you. Uh, there's a good number of them that are named Jared. This is what blew my mind. The protein Jumanji uh, basically makes you who you are is known as Jared number two. And it goes on like this. If you look into DNA and chromosomes and the different proteins, there's a Jared 1A, a 1B, a Jared C3. There's all these different things that are named Jared as a sort of overarching term that represents the chromosomes that make us who we are. So you have to understand how me being Jared, knowing a lifetime of research has never yielded any of this information to me, to now have it all of a sudden all appear at once and have it seemingly relate to all these different aspects of being a human and being a part of history, it sort of has me taken back and made me you know, try and look at the bigger picture. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I believe some sort of spiritual, supernatural thing is going on here. But I'm saying I'm very interested and my eyes are open and I am more awake than I have ever been. And that's all I want to say. So that's Jared Boosters here for you. Uh, hopefully that was interesting to you and didn't sound too much like me tooting my own horn but realistically when I found a lot of this information and it all happened you know last night at the same time and this is after years of trying to find the origin of my name to find out that it's kind of Moorish and at the same time Arabic and at the same time is the first javelin or a type of weapon and at the same time is a great salt lake you have to know that it's just super enticing to me and makes me want to do more research and i put the pressure on everybody out there to research your own names and your own origins and find out this useful information about yourselves because i'm telling you when you do find out these things it'll trigger something in you and it'll make you happy and it'll make you sort of feel a purpose that you might not have felt in a long time so that was my two cents thank you for sticking with me through that here is a compilation of a bunch of old world photographs and these are all going to be different ones that I didn't really have uh, videos for. I didn't have enough or I didn't have an overarching theme that these fit into, but I did find them to be very interesting and I thought they would all be worth sharing with you. 
So if any of the information from the intro interested you or you have any comments about any of these photographs, let me know your thoughts down below and I look forward to talking to you very soon and I will see you on the next one. Jared Boosters, signing out.